without honeybees, there's no food security. And without food security, we all starve. Back in 2007, we started experiencing much higher colony losses than we had previously had, to where they're averaging 35% annually. That loss of colonies, not in a single country, in all of North America and most of Europe. That's worrisome. Modern agriculture is entirely dependent on honeybees. A third of our food is bee pollinated. What other animal species produces one third of the food we consume? There's no question that honeybees are the most valuable insects to the humankind. Here at the University of Well, we focus not only understanding how different stressors affect honeybee health, but we are trying to find solutions to them. We started to do experiments to determine what were the most significant factors. The number one factor that affects bees is a parasite called Varroa destructor. And so we have a multi-pronged approach and we're working with pre and probiotics. We're also looking at essential plant oils, organic acids that will control the mites but not affect the bees. So we are testing natural plant-derived compounds which will protect bee and human health. We're maxed out with, with the space limitations that we have. We can fit 24 people into a living room for our courses. So we fit 40 into that living room for the courses. Now there's just so much demand. The reason that I decided to do it was because I felt like they really needed a new facility. They were doing this incredible research and they were really making a difference with their videos. When you hear about how many people watch the videos and translate the videos, I mean, they are educating the world. Currently, we are teaching nearly 500 students every year. Uh, we produce at least five to seven papers. And we also have outreach activities at the B-Lab. With a new facility, we would increase that 10 times. The new facility will give us much more opportunity for public engagement. We'll have a visitor center. And when we teach courses, we'd be able to increase the colony numbers, but still have hands-on beekeeping experiences. The new facility will be an iconic building. It will also be a window to the world to show that at the University of Wealth, Ontario and Canada are leading honeybee research. We're just blown away with the generosity of uh, the Pynchon family that they want to engage with us and help support our vision. It just makes me inspired that part of the community wants to help us so much with the work that we're doing. 